Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Monday, October 31st, 2022. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Junior Minister of Gender Affairs in the federal government, the Honorable Isaline Philip, has officially launched Nevis's Boys Mentorship Program. The program is being piloted at the Nevis International Secondary School by the Nevis Island Administration's Department of Gender Affairs. It is grounded on five pillars mentor, mentee, relationships, skills, training, job attachment, community service, and scholarship opportunities. At the October 18th launch, Minister Philip urged the mentees to take advantage of the opportunities, saying it is encouraging and rewarding to see programs like these being executed because, as we strive to advance ideals of gender equality, there is the need to have men and boys on board. The launch followed the installation of the program's advisory board on May 19th, when Junior Minister of Gender Affairs, the the Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams presented the members with their instruments of appointment. The members of the advisory board are civil society representatives Alexis Brown and Hensley Daniel, mentors representative John Hanley, sports and youth representative Jamie Claxton, professional counselor Jasmine Brown, private sector representative Agnola Hendrickson, gender affairs officer Mario Phillip, and Joy Napier of the Nevis International Secondary School. Royston Queeley of Newcastle Village, the winner of the first Men Can Cook Grill Master Edition hosted by the Department of Gender Affairs, placed third from a field of seven participants at the Dr. Packer Annual Backyard Barbecue Contest in Palm Bay, Florida on October 15th. His participation was the prize offered to the winner of the Men Can Cook Grill Master Edition, an event which formed part of International Men's Day 2021 activities on Nevis. Queeley described his participation in the Florida contest as a delightful one saying he felt good competing against other chefs outside of Nevis. The competition was a fierce one. It was his first time attending and he gained a lot of experience, which will help him to win the trophy next year. The Newcastle villager is grateful to the Department of Gender Affairs for giving him an opportunity to showcase his talent, not only in Nevis, but also in Florida. He also thanks Dr. Donald Packer Manners for his warm division hospitality. Training officer Catherine Forbes, who represented the Department of Gender Affairs, described Queeley as being eager to participate in the competition, in which he was required to barbecue in the the categories of chicken, pork, and fish. He was enthusiastic, meticulous, paid great attention to detail, and exhibited creativity. The Department of Gender Affairs thanks the St. Kitts Nevis Anguilla National Bank for its generous sponsorship towards Queeley's participation in the Overseas Grilling Competition, as well as Dr. Packer, his wife Edna, and Steve Paris for the kind hospitality extended to Queeley during his stay in Florida. Meantime, registration for the Department of Gender Affairs 2022 Men Can Cook Grill Master Edition, scheduled for November 13th, 2022, is now open. Still to come, Department of Education seeks to develop math community. The details after this break. Breathe. Release. Feel. Transform. Embrace. You.
Welcome back. The following is a notice from the Department of Education in the Nevis Island Administration regarding a meeting for mathematics teachers on Nevis. The Department of Education on Nevis cordially invites all community mathematics teachers to an important meeting at 4.30 p.m. on Tuesday, November 1st, 2022 at the Department of Education, Marion Heights. Matters pertaining to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM education, curriculum enhancement, and the development of a math community on Nevis will be discussed. Please make a special effort to be punctual. For further information, contact the STEM unit at the Department of Education. An 18-member delegation from the University of the Virgin Islands UVI paid a courtesy call on Junior Minister of Education, the Honorable Troy Lybert, at his office on Thursday, October 27, 2022. Dean of School of Business at UVI, Kendra L. Harris, and Vice President for Institutional Advancement at UVI, Mitchell Neves, spoke of the reason for their visit. And we are here today, um, this past three days, uh, in St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, meeting with a number of uh, their close constituents in the country, ensuring that we can further our partnership uh, through our memorandum of understanding that we have with both the government and the college here. We have brought with us a delegation of a total of 18 individuals to strengthen and leverage the relationship we have with the stakeholders here on Nevis and to ensure we're being good partners in determining what the needs are and how we can operate to continue to facilitate mutually satisfying relationships between Nevis and the University of the Virgin Islands. Prior to the commencement of the meeting with the delegates, Minister Leibert welcomed the delegation to Nevis. And I'm sure that we would have a very robust and good discussion and I'm hopeful that at the end of the discussion that we would um, have something that would be in the best interest of the University of the Virgin Islands and of course the people of Nevis, the young people of Nevis who are seeking to further their education. We are hopeful that whatever comes out of our discussion that it would sway more young people to um, choose the University of the Virgin Islands because it would be such a such a good deal that um, Nevisian students would not be able to um, resist it. So I'm very very happy that all of you have come and um, do feel welcomed. Also present at the meeting were Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Kevin Barrett, and Principal Education Officer, Zanella Claxton. And that's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing.